for our training. No reason really focusing on Barton with that slow development. Ideally, we'll be able to get him off of that if we can have a good year. Hopefully, he just naturally gets normal development or better. Uh, but we're going to go back to Darnold. We're still trying to get him to superstar. And then our right tackle, Chris Kelly, who we sniped late in the draft. Take a peek at free agency or fill out this uh, depth chart a little bit. Rex Burkhead is available. We mentioned we wanted an upgrade at receiving back. He could certainly offer that. Or we could go to our youth a little more than we have done in the last year. Um, no one else at receiver. I guess I can look for undrafted guys, though. Uh, wow. Rodney Lucas. Yes, please. And a... <laughs> this is why this game is so dumb. Really? This guy's going to go undrafted? 90 speed, 6'6". Six six. I mean, I'm going to take him. But, my goodness. And then another freaking stud undrafted. So we're just going to load up on young receivers. What a deep class. Pretty good blocking tight end here. Definitely need some tight end depth. Offensive line, I think we're good. I mean, we could definitely pick up some studs, but we'll avoid that. We already cheesed a little bit and took those receivers sign this uh jared simpson as a bit of a thumper at middle linebacker this guy as well there's a good edge rusher we can sign any good corners usually not too many how about this guy why not so this receiving room just got really interesting with will morris and then all of these stud rookies that we just picked up and all those guys are probably going to make the team, and they're all a little different. So kind of an exciting group of receivers now. Technically, that tight end we signed would be our best tight end. We might just start him because the other guys don't really block. Could also start Herndon, who kind of showed up in that one game we played last year. So now that that's done, time to get through this preseason, hopefully avoid injuries. Honestly, with where we have XP for offensive linemen set, it's not even really worth to do a normal development offensive lineman as a focus player so i'm gonna set this to jamal adams really hope we can get him to take a tier jump this year had a pretty quiet year for us ton of upside there for adams we are actually 0-3 through the preseason not the end of the world just gotta start our winning ways once the season starts i'm gonna cut powell maybe we can get elijah mcguire a little more active in the receiving game definitely has the traits for it so we'll make him our third down running back. Although Spencer Ware, a much better receiver than we get from Crowell. And I'm going to practice squad Cannon again. Practice squad Hanson. Get rid of some of these guys. So we've got an all-new wide receiver room. And Peak's just not going to cut it. Oh, I think we are going to keep... How many guys do we have here? Three, four, five, six, seven. We can keep seven. I think we can let... The veteran Ijelana go. Done with Josh Martin. Done with Jordan Jenkins. Thinking about cutting McClendon. Let Kevin Pierre Lewis go. Uh, but we're not going to need to. We had a bunch of corners to get rid of. I am really excited to use these rookies and let these guys develop. We have such a good young roster here. I feel like we really did a good job to put some good pieces around Donald, which is going to be a big focus for this Jets team in real life. Because they weren't really able to do that in this year's draft so i'm going to set the goal for 10 wins uh hopefully we can make the playoffs under that big goal this year is going to be limiting those interceptions for darnold because he had a bunch last year a few costing us games so we're closing in on superstar development for him should be there pretty soon we do have a bunch of xp to spend for crowell might as well actually gets him to an 82 overall put him right next to spencer ware by the way, I know people are going to wonder why I'm not doing real rookies. To be honest, I haven't done my any evaluations on next year's class yet. While I'm in Europe, I'm definitely going to start to work on that. In reality, if I'm going to talk about that kind of stuff, I want to at least, you know, be insightful and know what I'm talking about. So we're just going to go with the auto-generated rookies for this rebuild. And then, of course, once we're doing rebuilds in Madden 19, I'll have an actual class with players, and I'm going to get that up and going pretty quickly when Madden 19 comes out. So you can look forward to that uh, in the near future. But for now, this is what we got. So I just want to look at where the uh, top guys signed just to see how our immersion's doing. So Odell Beckham goes to Detroit. So that's definitely a break of immersion there. Um, I thought if he went to Dallas, that'd be pretty 
realistic, but to leave New York and go to Detroit, I don't think so. Brandon Graham to the Raiders, that's pretty realistic. Jadavion Clowney joins the Redskins, I like that. And Amari Cooper, so that's pretty exciting for the Redskins. Alvin Kamara's a 99 overall now, that's pretty nuts. The Bears land Darrell Williams, the star right tackle. The, oh man. The Bills in our division land Zach Martin and Taylor Lewan. Wow, what a change up there. They also signed Daniil Hunter and Vic Beasley. Jeez, no expenses spared for the Bills this offseason. They also draft a really good running back. So we'll have our hands full with this new look Bills team. And just like our rebuild, the Cardinals landing Aaron Donald out of the own, their own division. So that's interesting. And then the Colts getting a star defensive player, Geno Atkins, and that brings us back to us. So we're gonna do our depth chart and then play our first game on the year. We got some start sits uh, that we gotta contemplate here. So we're definitely gonna play where as our starting running back, setting up this wide receiver depth chart. Honestly, I just wanna get these rookies involved. So Rodney Lucas seems like a stud. We'll keep Ryan Anderson in the slot for us. But then we're going to move the six foot six Nile Atkins up to number four. If we start to like him, he's going to go up to number two. Just that physical profile, hard to turn that down. And no, I will not be moving him to tight end. You can see those comments coming. Uh, so Curse is going to take a veteran bench roll for us. I'm going to start Christopher Herndon. This offensive line should be set, though, with how James Carpenter really disappointed us last year. Some of our low lights of the year were James Carpenter just missing wide open blitzers. I think we might actually go to the rookie left guard. We only have to develop that awareness. The rest of his blocking is better across the board than James Carpenter. So he might struggle early with that low awareness, but it could pay off dividends getting that awareness up. And we're also starting a rookie at right tackle. I'm gonna keep an eye on this Sean Dietrich. He's got 81 finesse moves, like him a lot. And then this Charlie Ramsey we picked up undrafted. Uh, so we got some young edge rushers to rotate in here. And if William Hayes isn't doing anything, we're gonna make a switch. Uh, but we are gonna go with Hayes to start. Decided to keep Steve McClendon, just a really good run defender. Not much of a pass rusher, but that's fine. We got Darren Lee, Avery Williamson, Anthony Barr. Much improved group of linebackers. And then Nick Barton, our first round pick at corner. Slow development, so we're gonna hopefully have a good year with him and scratch that slow dev. And then Morris Claiborne, actually very well suited to play in the nickel for us. I'm excited. Maybe he can have a Patrick Robinson type of career year for us in the nickel, even though he kind of accidentally played in the nickel for us a lot last year. And then I'm gonna go to Roby Benford. It sounds like the Jets fans are very high on Marcus May. You know, I don't really see a whole lot in him. Some flashes here and there, but in the scope of this franchise, he has done nothing for us. So we're gonna go to the rookie, Roby Benford. And then of course, Jamal Adams will put May in as our second strong safety. We could very easily end up going back to May though, if Benford doesn't do anything for us. Third down running back, I am gonna go with Spencer Ware, but we'll get Elijah McGuire ready to go in the backup third down roll. And that's the depth chart. So we got Da Bears this week. Team's a 76 now. So let's go Jets. A short time ago, the Jets' defense introduced to this crowd, and one of the biggest ovations was for the big man, Leonard Williams, as he and his mates get set to do battle with the Chicago Bears. Hi again, everyone, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Jets ball club, an early season tilt, and when it's an early season tilt, should be ready to roll. Look at those new stud defenders running out of the tunnel there, Dunlap and Anthony Barr. So they want us to take over on a drive offensively in the first quarter. I say we do it early on in the season, set the tone for the season offensively. Just get rid of that. Jacksonville blowing out Houston the first game of the year. All right, we're sliding right. Make sure you block these guys up for me. Blitz came off the edge, I panicked. 
Now I don't know why Crowell is in. Maybe the depth chart got screwed up. Definitely want Spencer Ware to be our lead back. All right, well this would be a disappointing start if we can't convert this. We can get it. Oh no, give me a flag. Roquan Smith with the coverage. Wow, that was a bad, bad outing. Bears were putting on the pressure on that drive. Did not have much time to throw at all. Can at least play field position here and blast this thing away with the wind. Jeez. Oh, he's not gonna field it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what is that, a 70 yard punt? All right, so there goes our drive opportunity. Again, if you're new here, we do three play the moments and a maximum of one full drive. So now we got a red zone opportunity here. We're gonna let it go into the second quarter. Hopefully make up for that offensive outing we just had. Ooh, there you go, Herndon. Way to find the football. Well, that's not gonna cut it. Pfft. Nice suggestion. Hail Mary at the goal line. Ah! Panicked. Gonna have to settle. A couple disappointing outings. We got one play the moment left. The defense is playing well. I don't know if we can expect that to keep up against the Trubickster, Mitch Trubiscuits himself, but hopefully we can. Okay, we got the ball back and a red zone opportunity. Come on. We're already going to be out of moments, but we need to take advantage of this. Wonder who got that turnover for us. Hopefully it was our rookie corner. Third and short. Come on, don't make me kick it again. Oh gosh. Whoever that defensive end is, I would assume Leonard Floyd is doing a really good job getting after me. I may have had that quick out, but didn't want to risk anything. Big goal this year is limiting turnovers. So we are out of playing time. We gotta leave this up to fate. Hopefully the guys can play better than I've been playing. Defense still playing well. Holds them to a field goal. There's a touchdown. We're in pretty good shape. Oh, the Bears scored. Oh, no. Come on, Darnold. Let's go. Get in. Uh, oh, no. We lost. So a terrible start to our offense, both in simulation and no thanks to me. I played like booty. So we drop the first game to the Bears. A very winnable game. That's a unsatisfying start to this season for sure. Let's take a look at our stats, see how we did. Uh, so Darnold playing it safe, no interceptions, still no touchdowns though. Does complete 65% of his passes, 38 attempts. Just nothing really going. Pretty inefficient day. It's Robbie Anderson and Chris Herndon, not a whole lot from the young receivers. <laughs> but defensively, uh, you see why that defense was playing well. Carlos Dunlap, three and a half sacks. William Hayes gets a half sack. So welcome to New York, Carlos Dunlap. Oh.